So I'm replacing the fog light in my driver's side on my Lexus ES300. It's a 1997. Started to do it from underneath and saw something online that said you could do it from the top. And so uh, I thought I'd give it a whirl because I wasn't getting very far very fast underneath it. Um, first thing you have to do is you have to remove the um, splash guard here. Um, and that is pretty simple. It has these little black... Um, plastic tabs and they work like this the center you pry it up and once you pry that up then you can get the rest of it up uh, if you try to pry the big fatter piece it'll break so don't do that you gotta pop the middle I don't think this is an OEM one but all of them that are in here work the same way you pop the middle and then you pry it up makes it pretty easy with this red handled tool if you don't have that I'm sure you can use a screwdriver so once you get that out, you have to, I ended up taking them all the way across out, and there's some down on the bottom too. So you do that, and then you pull out your turn signal. Um, my car's kind of old, um, but it just has the one screw there at the top. Um, and then once you do that, you just move it towards the front of the car. Um, as you can see, mine's got real brittle plastic. I didn't do that, it was already like that, so um, I'm not sure if that from, what it's just from age, I'm sure, but other people prying it, but if you see that dog ear right there, um, that's the little tab, and it goes in right there, um, but that's basically all that's holding it, there's some here in the back too, um, but it took a little bit of force to get it uh, to wiggle forward, but you just pull it towards the front of the car, you don't have to do anything with the actual headlight. Um, then you take the um, wire harness off. You just stick a screwdriver right there and you um, pry it uh, towards the top and then the wire harness will slide off. Um, and then once you do that, then down in the hole you'll be able to see this 10 millimeter nut right there. I suggest that you uh, just loosen it and then uh, undo it by hand. That way you don't drop it down into the the hole there that's uh, got all the plastic shrouding. Um, then you'll have this, the, you should have two tabs, mine's so old and uh, mine's missing one of the tabs, but you're supposed to pry those together. You can't really see them, but you certainly can feel them. Um, pry it, but mine slid out pretty easy because that uh, one tab's gone. Um, still had to work it a little bit. Um, and then you take the wire harness off of that black piece and then I think I turned it uh, counterclockwise to get it out and then you can see um, that little wire and the way that works is you pry this out um, well you don't pry it out you just move it in you see there's a little lip to it um, you move the wire in and then you rotate it up this way Let's see my finger this way and then you can get the bulb out and the bulb the first time I ever used one of these or had one of these, I thought the bulb came out of this, but it doesn't. This is the way you would buy a replacement bulb. It'll have this little pigtail on it. And that tab plugs into there. Um, and um, uh, there's a ground piece, too. Um, and that goes on that uh, brass-colored tab right there. Um, so, in the bulb size, this is an H3. Um, I thought I had one, but uh, it turns out the one I have is an H1, so it's not going to work. Um, but anyway, I thought I would show this, and um, it, it's not too hard to get to the top. probably took me 25 minutes, and the most of the time was messing with the turn signal, trying to get it out. Um, that really took the longest, but... Just gonna run up to the auto parts store and buy a replacement here. I've ordered some LEDs off of the internet, but they won't be here for a while. So since I've got it apart, I uh, don't want to leave it out. So let me throw it in there real quick. Hopefully that helps somebody. Uh, Would have helped me. So I thought I'd make a video.